Oh, dang it. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. What's up, everybody? George from Adventure GT. And today, I got a new video for you. Here in this box, I have the roof rack rails for this Jeep Renegade. I'm going to unbox, see what we have inside. We're gonna install it. And ultimately, I have a kayak I wanna to try to put on. And we'll see how that goes. This one uh, I got from eBay. It, honestly, I typed in Jeep Renegade uh, roof rails roof rack rails, something like that. Uh, this one popped up, so I purchased it. You can get this one for about less than 65 bucks, less than 70 for sure. So we're gonna unbox it, check it out, see what we have. All right guys, so today I'm gonna do the unboxing outside. It's such a great day outside, it's nice. I went into the shade, it's a little sunny out. So we're doing it out in the shade today, so. Let's check it out. I haven't opened this yet, so let's let's bring out the big old bat. A little bat. A little, little Batman knife. Okay, let's cut this bad boy open. Should be pretty easy to install. It looked pretty easy. Uh, it should have everything you need. You don't have to buy anything with it. It looks like looks like it's almost pretty ready to go. There's a couple of Allen wrenches here. Allen keys. Let's, let's go ahead and take this stuff and actually take it out and open it. You have one of the Allen keys to adjust in and out and the other one on top to open up the grip or the hand. So yeah, I believe if I'm right, these are already preset to fit the Renegade. So you don't really have to do that, but if we have to, we will we'll open them up, we'll adjust it. Make sure it's a snug fit, not too loose, not too tight. There goes my box. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously we'll have to open this up to uh, open up the, the, the hand. I'm assuming this one is exactly like the other one. So you, obviously you get the two. Yep. Like I said before, they should be preset. This one, I think looks like it's extended all the way. I see that a little bit. But let's get both sides open. I do apologize, everyone. We did have some loud noises in the background, some wind and some chainsaws were going. We did have a bad storm occur prior to this video being filmed, but in the rest of this clip, I do talk about how we got our two Allen wrench keys for our crossbars. And in the box, didn't come with instructions. But it's all pretty straightforward. I did find this on the website, though. So Looks like one is a little bit bigger and one is a little bit smaller. And if you want to know exactly which one it is that I got, I can put a link in the description. And like I said, when I was searching for it, I typed in roof rack rails for uh, Jeep Renegade. Let's, uh, let's take one to the roof and we'll see how it fits. Once again, I apologize. We did have some more loud noises in the back and I just couldn't use the audio clip. But in this clip, I do talk about how the crossbar seems to be fitting fairly decent already. And I noticed when I got up top that the roof makes that iconic X shape that the Renegades have. It was a nice little Easter egg to find on my latitude. On the Renegades, you have that little slot right here. Right. On both sides there. And over here. So I'm going to put the rails there. You could put them in the middle both, just on the end here and, and on the other end on that side. But I am going to put them here, right in here, this spot. I think that probably work out better. Let's take it, lift it up. Put it in, slide it down. It should just clamp right onto it. And then we'll just uh, tighten her down and we'll see how that goes. Looks like this one's tightening up pretty good. Just make sure, make sure it's straight. Make sure they're both straight with one another. You don't want it to be somewhat cockeyed. And we'll tighten her down. Dang. 
Dang it. Oh, I'm gonna do this all day, aren't I? All right. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. There was no instructions in the, in, in the packaging. It, it was just the racks with the Allen wrenches, right? The, the rails. Uh, so I don't know how tight you should have it. Obviously, you want it tight enough where it's not gonna come apart or loose or anything like that because you're, you're gonna rely on these guys to haul anything up top, whether it's your kayaks or um, a basket up here with stuff. You know, you have to rely on these bad boys. So I, I, I wanna say don't over tighten it, but at the same time, don't under tighten it, I guess. I don't know. It's the best thing I can tell you right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that for now. Like I said, uh, I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go anywhere. But then again, I still have to tighten the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. These small Allen wrenches, man. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, they don't feel like they're gonna go anywhere. I mean, it has a has a pretty good hold on them. I just, I don't wanna over tighten it somehow, you know? I don't wanna over tighten it, and I don't wanna have it under tighten, like I said before, so. As long as it's squealing, it's getting tighter. I also don't want to strip these bolts. I guess, you know, they have the Allen keys, Allen wrenches. I don't even know. I call them Allen wrenches. I use them at work. I'm going to keep calling them Allen wrenches. Or the keys. It doesn't matter. Let me know what you think. I call them Allen wrenches. All right. <clears throat> well, I think we successfully did the first one. All right, well, that's that's what we're looking at for the first one. So let's get to the back, do the second one, and hope it goes a little easier. Right. Let's start by loosening up this guy. Let's loosen both up since they're together. It's easier. We'll just loosen them both up. We'll learn from the first one. All right, so just remember, put the left with the left side and the right with the right. It does give you that little sign right here. It says left. it's L for loser. I don't know, man. It just says L, okay? Let's just assume it says left. Or it means left. Let's just assume it means left. And that's your loser. Okay, let's go. Alright, we can get this. Just a little push. There we go. Perfect. Right, right about in the center. Cool. Let's get the other side on and then we'll start tightening. Well, let's make sure we have them centered and extend it properly. I think this one looks pretty good. Let's let's get to the other side. So that's interesting. Okay, so I can't seem to get this one to stay. So this one just doesn't seem like it wants to go in. I can adjust in and out. What if I... No, because this needs to stay over there. So this should just drop into place, but even when I have it all the way in, it's still just a little too big. Which makes me believe that this belongs to the front and the other one goes to the rear. Take it off. Let's take off the other one. And let's see if that's what we need to do. Loosen this guy up. Take it off and we'll switch it with the other one. This one's off, let's switch it with the other one. Let's just move this one back here. Move this guy to the back. Take its pieces with it. Let's bring out the other guy. Make sure I have the right with the right and the left with the left. This one does say left, so it must be the right. Hand. Or is it left? <laughs> I'll just tighten it down a little bit, not too tight, just so we can Still get some movement. 
see if we can get the other one on. Let's go to the other side again and we'll see what we can do with that side. So now this looks like a better fit. Okay, so now that we know, the one that is a little bit bigger is the one that sits up front. So now that we know that, we'll continue with the install. Let's go ahead and retighten the bottom ones just to make sure it's not gonna move. All right, all right, that looks pretty centered. Let's just tighten it down real tight. Like that, it kind of moves a little bit. Yeah, yeah this side, this side's moving. I don't like that. I don't really trust that. I'm gonna loosen it all the way off. Make sure I didn't break anything in this process. Well. I did have an unfortunate accident, so there is such thing as over tightening with these, and uh, we found out how and why. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it looks like it just completely broke out of it. Oh, dang it. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Unfortunately for me, the front rail over here the bottom piece is no good it uh pretty much stripped out it stripped out the actual nut that goes into this piece and completely ripped it out of it so i contacted the seller to see if they can send me a new one mm, it's gonna suck because i did have a trip planned coming out this coming weekend hopefully I can get that piece on time well I'll be back when I find out what the seller tells me and hopefully I can get another piece and sent in the mail here shortly so this is what I ended up doing as you can see uh, I have a longer bolt going through this honestly was just a little extra piece I bought so it's just kind of sitting there for display really on the bottom it's a Phillips head screwdriver now you got your nut bushing inside with with a washer on top of it you got your uh, nut up top with another washer on the bottom and like I said this was just an extra piece I bought I could potentially use and ended up not using it so I just kind of put it on top plus it just kind of looks weird just standing up on its own so honestly it's just kind of there for for a looks now. So I made a drawing for you guys. It's not the best, but I think you can still follow. Uh, as you can see, I used the bolt, the bushing nut, the washer, up top washer, nut, handle nut, top of the bolt. Pretty straightforward. So as you can see now, I got the roof racks, the railing fully on. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna mount my kayak, get the J hooks out, throw the kayak on top, and we'll take it out take it out test it out make sure everything works make sure nothing falls off so to make things easier for you guys I'm just gonna snap my fingers and we'll have it ready ready set and just like that and there's the kayak let's take it on a drive and we'll see how it drives I'm pretty confident this is good I'm pretty sure we find yeah let's take it on a drive and uh, we'll see what happens but before we go I almost forgot Now, as you can see, everything's holding out pretty well. Now, the question is, do I recommend it? Well, honestly, I'd say yes. Overall, it gives the car a really nice OEM look to it. And for the price, you can't really beat it. Now, it is a little cheaply made, but if you reinforce it like I did, then it will become pretty strong and you shouldn't have any problems. Well, guys, crossbars held out pretty well. As you can see, I'm in my trusty little spot might as well break out the kayak and take it on a spin thanks for watching my video hope you guys like it subscribe please that'd be great i'm gonna go drift away now